Hey guys, Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I think is better between the Swiss and the Car 98. Now, I do think a lot of it's personal preference, but for me, I'm going to outright say it, I think the Swiss is a little better. Now, I'm going to be covering the differences in this video and which one I think you should be using as an individual player, but we'll break that down as we get later into the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for attachments, I'm going to have them in the video. If you do enjoy content like this, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like. I just want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. So first, we're going to begin with the Swiss. If you need proof of how good this gun really is, I think one of the best things that's going to indicate it is the fact that it's the second most used gun in all of Warzone. On the screen right now are the top five most used guns as provided by WarzoneRank.com. But looking beyond just the Swiss, the Car 98 is in the third position is almost used just as much as the Swiss. So that's why I wanted to make this video, because which one should you be using? In regards to the Swiss, I think the biggest pros that it has going for it is its chest damage, the better scope which has more zoom, and the reload speed that it has. So let's talk about that chest damage. When using the Swiss, if you hit two chest shots, you're going to almost certainly get it down. When using the Car 98, it's very, very possible for you to hit three chest shots and then you'll finally get someone down. So it's a big difference going from two shots to three shots. And the other main thing where you're really going to notice this in is when you're sniping with the team. Now, what I mean by that is if I hit one chest shot with the Swiss and I have a teammate who's also running the Swiss, all he needs to do is hit another chest shot. He doesn't have to worry about hitting the head. He doesn't have to worry about only breaking armor with a second chest shot or a stomach shot or whatever. It's going to almost certainly down if he can just hit him in the chest. That is very, very important when talking about sniping as a team and allowing you to push on people and open up space in team fights. So that's one of the biggest pros for the Swiss. Now, when I talk about the scope, the only real benefit that it has for the Swiss is that it's just a base attachment so it doesn't take up attachment slot but that it also has a little bit more base zoom than the Car 98. So as you can see in the video in the background, when using both of these guns, the Swiss just has slightly more zoom than the Car 98. And it's something that is a little bit of a benefit when sniping at ranges. It can be somewhat of a downfall when quickscoping, but honestly, with the ranges you usually quickscope in, it's not a negative for the Swiss. It's almost always a positive. And now moving on to the last pro, I'm going to talk about the reload speed. So I'm going to do a similar comparison in the video and just notice the difference here. In terms of raw speed, there's about half a second difference in favor of the Swiss with these reloads. But the other main benefit is you reload all five bullets at once. Now, it can be nice with the Car 98 to only have to reload one bullet to finish someone or to get a kill. But overall, this advantage is going to go to the Swiss. So now I'm going to quickly go over the attachments. We're going to start off with the GRU suppressor. Then we're going to have the combat recon barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the Raider stock, and a Serpent Wrap. This is going to be the best combo of bullet velocity, of keeping you off the mini map, and giving you the best ADS time possible with this build. So now, I want to transition into the talking about the Car 98, and I want to break down in this section which one you should choose between the two. The Car 98 is overall an amazing sniper, and is one of the best snipers in the entire game, and has been for a long, long time. And as you can see by WarzoneRank.com, it's the third most used gun in Warzone right now, and the Swiss is the second. So clearly this gun has to be pretty much just as good or a little better than the Swiss for it to be picked that much. In my opinion, it really just comes down to personal preference. The Car 98 has a couple things that make it better than the Swiss, and I'm going to go over that in its own pros section. But you have to understand that it really, really is going to come down to personal preference. So before I get into the attachments with this gun, I am going to go over the pros. And the reason why this is, is because I have two different builds that I want to talk about. So let's get into this. The main thing that the Car 98 has over the Swiss is it has slightly better aim down sight speeds and it has better aim assist when using the controller. Now this second one, it sounds crazy to a lot of people, but there's objective evidence of this. When you are moving your joystick right to left on the Car 98, you're going to get noticeably more aim assist when doing that. With the Swiss, you're still going to have a good bit of aim assist, but it is going to feel noticeably less than the Car 98. I play at 13-13 sensitivity on controller on PS5, so for me, aim assist is already so negligible because of how high my sensitivity is that the Swiss doesn't really feel any different than the Car 98 to me. 
But to a lot of people on lower sensitivities, it feels noticeably different. In fact, I had to go test this myself and I don't really feel like the video does it justice. So I'm just gonna suggest you try it yourself. I think it's something that's subtle, but a lot of people will notice it once they are made aware of the idea. Now, the other thing is the Karn 88 does actually have better ADS speeds and this can be a pretty big thing. Now, having said that, it's only about 50 milliseconds of a difference we're talking about. So while it is noticeable and it is a lot in some ways, it really isn't a lot in a lot of other ways and I guarantee you're not gonna really notice it. Now, there's also a third hidden pro that I didn't put on that little list, but it does deserve to be talked about. If you don't have either of these guns leveled up and you wanna level one up, the Car 98 is gonna be so much easier to level up and if you're someone who doesn't have either of these guns leveled up, this is gonna be a major factor in your decision. If you have both of these guns low level, I would almost always choose the Car 98. In fact, if you have the Car 98 already leveled up, I would not really worry about leveling up the Swiss because of how close Vanguard is and because you're probably gonna have to level up some Vanguard snipers. On the flip side, if you are looking for a new sniper and you kinda want something new, do level the Swiss up though. So before getting into attachments, I just really wanna break down one last time on what you should use. It really should come down to personal preference. I've shown you the little bit of differences these guns have, but for the most part, they're gonna function the same. And the main thing for me is gonna be how well you can use either of these. Both of these guns have a different feel when shooting them at long ranges. And whatever gun you're gonna be better at hitting your shots with is the one I'd really recommend using. There's no real answer to give objectively here because they're so close stat wise. They're really 1A and 1B, and there's a reason they're the second and third most popular picked guns in the entire game. So really, just use what you're comfortable with, and if you're looking for a new sniper, maybe try out the Swiss, or maybe try out the Karn 88 if that's gonna be new to you. But do prepare for Vanguard snipers, specifically the Karn 98 in my opinion, to come in and maybe challenge these snipers for a new spot in the meta. So now, to wrap this video up, I wanna talk about the different builds you can use with the Karn 98. The only real difference is gonna come down to the end, but let's just go over the full build. So in the first slot, we're gonna have the 27.6 inch Syngard custom barrel, monolithic suppressor, the TAC laser, the sniper scope, then the F-TAC holocomb stock. This is gonna give you the biggest boost to ADS times, and it's gonna give you a clear advantage to the Swiss in terms of ADS times. But the second build is kind of slept on, and it's something I've been using for a while, and I think is really kind of broken. Instead of using the F-TAC holocomb stock, for the good ADS times, you're gonna to wanna to use the focus perk. The focus perk helps you have more flinch resistance. And to me, this is something that takes the Car 98 to a whole nother level. And the reason for this is, is let's say you're in a gunfight with someone 30 meters out and they have their Cold War AK-47 and they're beaming you with their AR. This build is gonna give you the best chance at winning the gunfight. It's not to say you can't win it with the Swiss and you can't win it with the Car 98 with the F-TAC holocomb, cause you can and I do all the time. I use the Swiss 90% of the time, and I still win those gunfights, but it is so much easier to win those when you have the focus perk. It is absolutely unreal how much easier it is to dominate people if you are accurate in the mid-range. If you are a good sniper between 25 and 50 meters, the focus perk is the number one thing I'd recommend to anyone. It's gonna make you almost unstoppable if you're actually a really good sniper. So guys, that is gonna be my total video and breakdown of these two guns. Now, as I said, there's no right or wrong. It's just personal preference really at the end of the day, but there are some things that may sway you one way or another. And I hope you really do try that second Car 98 build I was talking about. I am approaching on 500 subscribers, guys. And I really just wanna say thank you for that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have a good day. It's been Ryan, peace.